Morning Football with Ronnie Huckabee. Hi, and welcome to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison's coming off a 69-0 win on Saturday night at home for the home opener against Northwestern Oklahoma State. And Coach, uh, 69 points, 454 yards on the ground, 238 passing the football, 692 yards of total yardage. That's a school record. And then the first shutout in Great American Conference play made for a pretty good night for the Bison. It was a fun night, Billy. You know. Uh, I think our entire team had a little bit of uh, pent up emotion based on the fact that we lost a tough one on the road to Southwest Oklahoma. First time in front of the home fans this year, uh, you know, and, it, and it, it's a new football team. Uh, this group was ready to play without a doubt. Uh, a lot of exciting things happened in the ball game. You know, we executed really, really well on offense, kept them out of the end zone on defense. A lot of kids got to play and that was huge and uh, we're just uh, you know we're just tickled with a win. All right look forward to looking at the highlights with you right now and we'll come back and look at first half highlights after this. Okay. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons would get the football to begin the contest on a beautiful evening. And, uh, Coach, we see your offense right off the bat. And Ahmad Scott starts things on a good run uh, to get things started for your football team. And what was a balanced attack all night long, and it started on this first drive, and I thought the atmosphere was great. Uh, this is the toss play that, you know, is a staple in this offense. Great block by Jason Aller out in front. And, you know, Ahmad does a great job of getting the ball turned up. And this was a play that was really good to us all night long. This this is play action. Fantastic catch by uh, Alex Rochelle. Uh, good job by Jake, good good protection. And we end up putting it in the end zone. Very proud that our receivers were, were able to uh, perform well on Saturday and that's a big part of what we've got to do to be successful in this conference. And I think this play as big as any as we saw all night. Huge, because they, you know, they were moving the football on us and uh, put the ball on the ground, Deontay Garrett, Red shirt freshman defensive lineman recovered it. Uh, we get started with another real good run with our fullbacks. Uh, you know, we got to get the fullback game going in order to be successful in this offense. That's the, you know, that's the very first option. And we were pleased that our fullbacks were able to uh, have some success on Saturday. And Eric Kelly, a red shirt freshman, uh, involved in, in in the game right here. The red shirt freshman from Cypress, Texas, and he's looked uh, very good early. Well, we've got a lot of uh, guys that are getting first year experience, and you know, it, this was a tremendous job by Eric adjusting to the ball and and getting that catch, and then we come back with the midline uh, option, and Jake has a great lane, and Jake can run, and he gets in the end zone. That's a bit that was a big deal. Jacob Moore had a great look about him on Saturday night. He did. You know, there was a world of difference between game one and game two, just as far as how Jake felt. Uh, we come back with a toss again. This time it's to Jason Aller. We get a great block out in front. I believe that was Ahmad Scott out in front of him uh, with that block. I thought both slot backs blocked well all night. They did. This play action was, uh, you know, something we thought we were going to have the short man open, but we ended up with the deep guy, Alex Rochelle, again on a long uh, play action pass. Perfectly thrown by Jake, well protected. And uh, John Gay adds the extra point. Jacob Moore, very solid, 186 yards passing. Yeah, this was really uh, impressive to me. This was a freeze call. We go up top if the defense jumps off sides. And Jake put that ball exactly where it had to be 
in order for us to be successful. Now it looks easy for Ty Finley here because of great blocking up front. Well, we had, uh, you know, they had everything packed inside to stop the inside run and the, the outside toss was open and, and uh, Ty got in the end zone. You know, this is another toss play again. You can kind of see a theme developing here. This is Jason Aller. Uh, these guys really, really wanted to stop the inside run. And because they did that, it, it opened up our outside stuff. This is Park Parish. Uh, this is a boot pass. Uh, they vacated the flat. We got the ball to Romo Westbrook. He did a great job. That was a super job by Park. He had a lot of pressure. Nico Best with the uh, zone dive up the middle. Great blocking inside. Just really won the battle up front all night. Right. You know, we, we were able to soften them up a little bit with the outside plays, and, and it opened up our fullback, as you can see, as we you know, go through the highlights here. Up 34 nothing at this point. This is the last drive. I think we had 56 seconds on the clock. We opened up with a slant pass to Alex Finley. Parked through it great. Came back with Eric Simmons on the toss. Eric has got a lot of open field running ability. Great blocking out in front of him. You can see that, that play really developed well. And this caps a big first half for Alex Rochelle. Yeah, this was a perfectly thrown fade to the corner of the end zone. Alex did a great job of getting separation. And I think we, we actually drove uh, 75 yards in about three plays. So that was that was well ex executed there at the end of the first half. And the Bisons at the half late leading 41 nothing, and uh, had to be very happy at that point in the football game as they head to the locker room. We'll come back and look at second half highlights after this. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt. I live it. Give. Advocate. Volunteer. Live United. We were drawn here from all 50 states and more than 50 different nations. We are 7,000 students of languages, arts, sciences, and life. As diverse as our origins and as different as our backgrounds are, it's remarkable how much we have in common here in this place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. We get set to look at the second half highlights. The Bisons at half leading 41-0. And there was not a worry about a letdown in the second half because your football team came out and, and uh, with a quick score right off the bat. Uh, I was really proud of that. Uh, you know, you worry when you get that far ahead of a team sometimes that it can really get sloppy. And uh, I was really pleased with our guys. I think we handled it in a mature fashion. They came back out ready to play in the second half, as you can see on this first play. 76 yards to Romo Westbrook. And if you watch our wide receivers, Alex Finley, uh, Donatella Luckett, both those guys got a piece of those deep defensive backs that would have had a chance to make the play. And we ended up with a long touchdown run. And that was the a great way to start the second yes, half. And that put Romo over 100 yards for the night. Right. The toss again, that's Eric Simmons. Eric had a great night for us, both running the football and blocking. And we were really glad to see him uh, have some success because he's a, he's a talented uh, running back. And we're, we're expecting big things from him in the future. Get our first look on this series from Petty Magale. Right. Uh, glad Petty got some quality reps. That's a, a touchdown on the option play there with Park Parish. Uh, Park is a, does a really good job running the football, and uh, he, he had a really good night. At this point, the Bison's leading 55 nothing, and now it's a, a part where you're going to get a chance to see some kids that work so hard, Coach, uh, throughout the season get some good playing time. Right, Russell Ward, uh, you know Russell and Matt Tennyson both. Uh, you know these guys work really hard. And uh, the fact that they got to get in the end zone is huge. We've got some uh, backup offensive linemen in the, in the ball game that really went out and performed well, uh, some of them in particular. And uh, you know, that's always good for your football team. Uh, this is Christian Pletta. Eric Simmons out in front with the block on the perimeter, does a great job. Uh, Matthew the, Tennyson, the freshman <clears throat> from Hazen. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if that wasn't petty, but uh, Petty and Matthew Tennyson shared the carries in that last mm -hmm. drive. 
I think this is Matt right here. Really good move in the open field. Uh, keeps, his, keeps his feet going. Uh, and as you can see, Matt here on the, on the midline walks into the end zone untouched and uh, just did a great job. We were very, very pleased that, with the number of guys that got to play in this football game. And John Gay caps the scoring right there and uh, always good to see the Bisons on the field after a victory as uh, the two teams converge, but 69 to nothing. And uh, you know we saw a lot of John Gay uh, with the extra points there. And I thought the kicking game was outstanding on Saturday night as well. It was, you know, we have had a couple of kicks blocked and uh, we had a field goal against Southwest Oklahoma. I had one extra point the other night. And so we have some things that we need to correct on that team and we're gonna work really hard to make sure. But that is, that is an area of our game that needs to be on point because our kickers do a great job. Uh, we got a great deep snapper. Alex Finley is our holder, and, and uh, you know that needs to be a productive team for us. So we're going to work real hard on it. And your football team really responded well uh, with the victory. Needed that victory to get back to one and one. Every game's a conference right. game, so very important to get that conference win. Right. Uh, you know we had a lot of corrections to make after the Southwest Oklahoma game, and we were hindered to some extent by the weather this past week. You know we got rained off the or lightninged off the field twice, and uh, had to go in the gym. But you know these guys were focused and uh, they were ready to play and we executed. We still have got a lot of improvement to make as a football team. I am confident that we're going to make it. Uh, when, you, you know, when you analyze this, you just know we have a lot of young football players that we're depending on for this, you know, for this season. And so every day we can take a step, it's going to make things better in the future. And that's our goal, get better this week. All right, stay with us. We'll come back and wrap things up on this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee after this. All right, guys, we got to be smarter about what we bite on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're going to run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm going to run around circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, big kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 60. Your school doesn't have a program? Be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Healing takes time. It also takes knowledge and expertise. Here we learn to reach out to and care for others through the application of medicine and true compassion. We understand that our mission is to take our training and abilities out into the world where they can and do heal the lives of others. For us, that mission began in a place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee and the Bisons with some outstanding efforts, I think, uh, in the game on Saturday night. Daniel Riley and Romo Westbrook both played well on both sides of the football. And Daniel Riley, eight tackles. He had uh, two and a half tackles for loss. And Romo Westbrook, uh, uh, 100 yards rushing, 109, and, and one touchdown. Those guys, uh, as I said earlier, our entire team was ready to play. Those guys particularly played well. Uh, it, it's hard to single out just two from that game, but uh, Daniel was very productive for us on defense. Uh, you know, Daniel is the old man on the defensive line. Uh, he is a very talented football player, plays with a lot of passion and energy. And uh, the fact that he had a sack and a half and two and a half tackles for loss was our leading tackler from the defensive end spot. Uh, just tells you, and you know, he shared his reps. You know, we played a lot of people the other night. That's, that's great productivity considering the amount of plays that he played. Uh, Romo, the 75 yard run didn't hurt anything as far as his average is concerned. Uh, as I said earlier, they were really plugging the middle and made us go outside, but that opened up, you know, the inside running game as we progressed through the game. And uh, Romo would be the first to tell you that that run was the result of a lot of great blocking and, and not to take away from his talent and ability because he certainly uh, exercised that on that play. But very proud of both of those guys and the contributions that they're making to this football team. And they were both very happy after the football game. And we'll hear from Daniel Riley and Romo Westbrook. We're going to use this as a, a step up, you know, to look at, our, look at our mistakes and look at what we did well and try to improve on that. And I know it was a good week of preparation. You had a week, week and a half, because you played last week on Thursday. Mm -hmm. I mean, how hard was it waiting for this game to finally get here? Well, it was, it was very hard. Waiting a long time because of the loss last week, the last week on the Thursday. It was very hard. 
So when it came to it, we was, we was on fire, so we ready, we was ready to go. Talk about the pressure you were able to put in the backfield all night on each quarterback that they would throw in there. Eight tackles for you tonight and a sack and a half and two tackles for loss. What was the key to all that uh, with the defensive line play tonight? Well, pursuit and our, our coach stressed that we should get after the quarterback. So that we we focus on the whole week is get after the quarterback, and I think we did a good job of that. Coach told us during the week at practice that we're going to come out and be a very physical football team. So basically the offense start in my position at fullback. I have to, you know, help help the team be physical. And Coach just told us first play he was going to feed me and, and let's, let's be physical with the ball and bring it to him today. What about the run early in the third quarter uh, that pushed you over 100 yards uh, for the night and the touchdown? Talk about well, that play. I couldn't do it without my line, first of all. And, you know, they blocked and opened up the gap for me to go through. And then the rest coaches always told to just be an athlete and just finish. The line can open it up for you, just be an athlete and do the rest. How much did all the success that you were able to enjoy a year ago with this ground attack? maybe help you getting ready for this season? Well, I mean, you know, this this ground attack, it's a good ground attack, you know, because every game we pick up at least about 400 yards total. And, you know, it all starts with the line, like I said earlier in the interview. So it's going to be good. Just and like how last important year. was this victory for your ball club tonight to get back to one and one now in the conference race? It was very important because after the loss, we was all soaking and upset, and we just couldn't wait to get after this game tonight and we came and did our job and we came up with W so it was good. Big smiles for both of those guys. Enjoyed visiting with them after the game. It's always a reason to smile after a 69 to nothing win. But now the the bye week for the Bisons this week, kind of tell us uh, what will it be like for your football team to not have a game on Saturday. It's a great time for us to have a bye week. Uh, you know, we, as I said earlier, this is a work in progress with this football team because we've got so many young players that are pl playing significant roles for us. So uh, we need to get back to basics, work on some technique, uh, you know, just uh, use this time to work on the bisons and uh, make sure that we're improving the areas that we need to improve. We're real excited about it. Can't wait to get back to work and, uh, and then looking forward to Southern Nazarene a week from Saturday. All right, Coach, enjoyed being with you as always, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. That's all for this edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. We'll see you next time. Ball with Ronnie Huckabee.